Well, for the most part, COVID-19 cases are down across Arkansas schools. It's one reason the Fort Smith superintendent uh, cited for recommending ending the face mask requirements here in Fort Smith. But attorneys we talked to say that might not end future legal battles since the mandates could be reinstated. And they're the same attorneys who successfully sued the Bentonville School District. According to the Department of Health, right now, Springdale, Bentonville, Fort Smith, and Rogers top the state for most active COVID-19 cases in schools, and all of them no longer have face mask requirements. The numbers are lower than they were last Thursday, and it was one reason the Fort Smith superintendent recommended ending the mask mandates for students, staff, and visitors. That is something we'll, we'll reconsider if, if there's another, another uh, surge like what happened with Delta. We were hopeful in the spring and then the summer surprised us. The Fort Smith Public School District seems to think that masks are part of a school uniform. They're just not. This is a public health issue. Because it's a public health issue, only the Arkansas Department of Health has the authority to issue any kind of regulations dealing with this. I mean, you got to do a balancing act between the constitutional rights of parents and the power of state entities, none of which is not does not include school boards. Attorneys Travis Story and Greg Payne successfully sued the Bentonville School District, ending mask mandates there for now. They also represent four parents of Fort Smith school kids who are considering going to court in Sebastian County to try and keep face mask mandates from being reinstated. The worst part about this is uh, these parents are fighting, uh, protecting their constitutional rights, and they have to pay for it. That is outrageous by any measure. Um, you know, the, the legislature should have fixed this. They didn't. Um, the school board should acknowledge they don't have the power, and they won't. And those attorneys are talking with the parents from here in Fort Smith that they represent, and ultimately they say it's their, those parents' decisions if they want to head to court here in Sebastian County. Live in Fort Smith, Brett Rains, 4029 